Hey Simleys, it's Dilly Grissy here and welcome to part 30, 30 or part 31 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Barbie season 2. And in the last part we had Amethyst age up to a young adult. Gosh, Sims grow up so quickly, don't they? But she, uh, yeah, aged up, we had a party, it was of course purple theme. And uh, I also did a makeover video, so the makeover video was posted just before this one. Uh, so if you want to check it out, you can, and I will try and link it in the description down below. But I know I always forget, so <laughs> I will try. I will try and remember. Uh, but yeah, Amethyst is looking a bit different, and a lot of you guys were really, really, really keen on her relationship oh, no. ship Fish. developing with Akash. Uh, we thought that he was a really, really nice uh, match for her and uh, also made by Simley, which is always a nice thing. Kelly asked for us to update the family on the gallery and ew, this is so gross. Let's clean that up, girl. Uh, so Kelly, I have put the family on the gallery, the updated version. Uh, so check out my user Deligracy to download them. And that's with Pearl before she's aged up because we also have had Amelia request that we age up Pearl and Mercedes in this part. Not sure if we'll age up Mercedes. Oh, actually we probably should if we age up Pearl because technically Pearl is younger than Mercedes. Uh, and then Zoe also said... The amethyst should definitely get a tattoo. And I was thinking, well, Akash has tattoos. So maybe once they get to know each other a little bit more. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? And then last of all, Charlotte also said, uh, why don't uh, the first date with Akash and Amethyst be going camping and like spending some time amongst the stars? And I thought that was a great idea. So let's do that. Let's go visit him. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's age up Pearl first and then age up Mercedes and then we will go away camping. That sounds good. Okay, so more choices. Age up. Oh, Pearl. Barbie, watch this. Watch your little girl age up. Oh my gosh, look at the hair! Look at the hair! We've got another blondie. <laughs> a lot of you guys were saying that Pearl should be like, because Pearl's a white, maybe she's like a clean, neat freak or something, and like really, really, really particular uh, and not very flexible at all. So I think we might make her a bit of a, not a social butterfly. She could actually be quite, of a, quite a bit of a loner maybe. I don't know. It's difficult to know what to do. Let's make her a whiz kid. I like the whiz kids. They get good grades in school and then they get a good job. Uh, is being super clean already a thing for kids? Neat. There we go. She's a neat freak. I love her hair. And you guys thought that she should grow up to have ice blonde hair and always wear white. She is so cute. Can we just work on her a little bit? We need to work on her a bit. Uh, she doesn't look very happy. She's not in the best mood, which makes me think she's going to be like a really whiny sim. Like she, she's one of those people who everything needs to be perfect, but life is never perfect. So she's always complaining. I don't know. Is her hair already the, oh, it's already the top one. Nice one. I mean, I like this hair. It's pretty out there, but I don't know if it suits her. I don't know, you guys. I do like this easy ponytail. She could have some shorter hair for a change. Ooh, don't like that visual glitch there. Her head's like falling off her face. Oh, her face is falling off her head. This hair's cute. This is adorable. I quite like that on her. Uh, but I am using that hair in my other LP, Dine Out. That's quite cute too. I like the shorter do's for her. Hmm. Maybe she likes to have shorter hair to keep the hair out of her face or something. Or she always has her hair pulled back. Now that's a good idea. Like Violet Baudelaire who always ties her hair up when she's thinking. Yes. Yes. Let's do the other pulled back hair. I like that first one. Is it this one? Oh, that visual glitching annoys me though so much little buns okay oh it's got that too apparently it's to do with your graphics card well we're not gonna get rid of it so 
Let's just do this hair. Because it doesn't happen with that one, and I like that. Maybe she also, because she's very particular about things. Oh, I was going to say she'd always have lip balm on to keep her lips nice and in check. All right, of course, I am going to dress her in all white clothes, I think. Just to go with the mm -hmm. theme of pearl. Uh... And I think Ruby would definitely get very jealous of Pearl very easily. So we might... Ooh, she's got the same dress as Ruby. That's no good. Actually, what dresses... Do we have a nice dress she could wear? <laughs> Perfect. She could wear this with a, a necklace. She can have diamond... Oh, we need pearl earrings. She'll have to have diamonds for now. Maybe we can give her glasses. We haven't had a sim in this family with glasses. Pink glasses, white glasses. Let's give her pink glasses because it is Barbie's girl. And we could give her a nice necklace as well. Is there a pearl necklace? No, and I already know people are going to make jokes about that in the comments. But please remember this is a child. Okay. Uh, it's Twitter! They so paid for in-game advertising. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. They, I, doubt, I highly doubt they did. <laughs> and accessories. Let's just go with maybe some stockings. Not those. That's a little strange. What's this? No. No, 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 no. What about socks? Ah! No, that is terrible. Uh, little blue socks. She's not really feeling them. She definitely wouldn't have odd socks. Her socks would always be matching. Absolutely. She'd probably buy those things that keep your socks up. What are they called? Like this. They used to have them back in the olden days and she'd have perfectly shined shoes. There we go, there's little Pearl. We'll just give her one outfit for now uh, and put her just in a basic, a basic formal dress, shiny shoes, keep it all pretty simple and clean. Ooh, no, 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 no. Uh, we need to give her some nice little shorty short shorts and the singlet's fine. Uh, maybe she can have a bit of pink on her shoes. And I mean, this family, they never tire of pink. It just does not happen. No, she would not wear that. She'd have a nice clean robe and perfectly white little bunny slippers. And party time, we'll just give her this. She's very proper. She's very proper. And she'll always be the one in the family to organize everyone's flights and everything. Make sure if the family goes away, everyone is on time. I think this is a really cute bathing suit, though. Oh, and she'd always be really careful about sun protection. So let's just give her a hat as well. Uh, why don't we give her one of these hats for a change? I never use these hats. Perfect! Oh, little Pearl! You're so cute. What a little wonder. And what other characteristics do pearls have? They are super perfect. The more perfect a pearl is, the more expensive it is. They come from clams, so maybe she likes to be in dark places and she's introverted and a loner. She doesn't like to come out of her comfort clam, you know? I like this. I like being inspired by their names. It's perfect. It's perfect. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, let's continue. That's embarrassing. All right, so Little Pearl's got her. Why are you wearing that? I did not assign those pajamas to you. Please change. Did I not just save her outfit? What? Oh, is this Ruby? Oh my gosh, I'm getting them muddled up. I was like, I did not dress you in that. Oh my gosh. You know what? Ruby's probably freaked out that Pearl is like so much like her, she should probably sneak into Barbie's room and dye her hair red. Yes. Yes, wait. She'll go to her bathroom and borrow her mum's hair dye. 
And then that is where the red hair begins. Even though she's not naturally a redhead, she dyes her hair red from when she was younger because she always wants to stand out and be the center of attention. And I think we should go the deeper red. Oh, yeah. How perfect is that for a little ruby? Yeah. I feel it. And Barbie's going to be like... What did you do to your perfect locks? You spent so long growing them. And then from this day forward, Ruby always wanted to wear red to be more strong and vibrant than her little sister Pearl. And oh, Pearl and little Onyx should be good friends because they're like not colors. They're shades. They're shady. They're not really shady, but you get me. Let's put her in this little red dress. I don't know. Maybe she doesn't wear red all the time, but we'll just, just for funsies. She should have some little red sparkly shoes. Where are those little Dorothy shoes at? Here we go. Wow, she's really ready to bring out, to bring out a little bit of sass. Sassy Ruby. Ruby sass. All right, I really, really want, well, I can't even talk. I really, really want to work on Amethyst and Akash. I finally figured out how I want to pronounce his name, Akash. Akash, nice. And a lot of you guys were talking about and commenting that they should have a house on an island and adopt kids. That was kind of nice too. Uh, Margaret Roberts, congratulations on your recent birthday. Thanks, Margie. Thanks, Margie. Now, Barbie. Oh, my gosh, girl. Oh, look at her. Isn't she just perfection? Oh, look at that strut. Okay, she's going to go find Ruby. Oh, there she is. She's already found her and have a strong word about her hair. Uh, she's going to be very angry, I think. She's going to lecture about misbehavior. And Ruby's probably like, Mom, when it's my birthday, I want a room makeover. I want it all to be red. I'm sick of being like everyone else with pink. Like, oh, Mom, I'm allowed to do whatever I want. I'm a big girl. I'm almost a teenager. And then Barbie, because she, she's, Barbie loves her family. She thinks her family are the best thing ever. So she's going to very quickly apologize, give her a hug. And also express her love to her children. I'm sorry. I'm just looking out for you, sweetie. <laughs> ah! Can't see. <laughs> how is she looking so thin after having how many babies? <laughs> oh my gosh. And give another heartfelt compliment. Gorba. Oh gosh, Ruby's gonna be the worst teenager ever. She's gonna have so many parties. I can't wait. All right, Amethyst. Uh, let's go to. Oh gosh, this is gross. Uh, can I think we'll call a mage service? Uh, let's get him. Oh, let's get him to pay the bills. We're gonna need some more cash soon. He looks so worried as well. Nice for him and Amethyst to have some father-daughter time. And, oops, higher service. What was that, Kenny, baby? Uh, let's get, I feel like we order scheduled or hire scheduled maids all the time. Oh, Amethyst is such a good girl. She'll clean up her dishes. Or maybe not. <laughs> She's just thinking, yeah, the maid will do it. That's not Amethyst style. All right, let's go over to... Uh, I'm going to switch households and quickly age up Mercedes. Okay, speaking of makeovers, we really need to give Diamond and Augusta some makeover. Aw, you guys. You know what? Why don't we try for another baby while we're here? I mean, why not? Why not? Keep that family going. I mean, that's what Diamond really wants. She just wants more babies. Uh, but yes, time to age up Mercedes. And we'll just have to pretend we're going back in time because otherwise, uh, oh gosh, I love this house. Oh, it's such perfection. Uh, okay, where, where is the baby? Damn it, I always lose the babies in The Sims 4. The babies, oh, here we go. 
It's in their room, right where I left them. Okay, let's go up over here and age up Mercedes. And I think we should definitely, if we have another girl, have Mercedes and Margie or Marjorie, maybe after uh, her grandmother, Margie. Oh, I can hear the baby sounds. Gosh, someone's been angry. I bet you that was Diamond. Look at that strut. She's just like her mom. <gasps> She's got brown hair! No way. I really thought she was going to be blonde. <gasps> oh, let's make her a social butterfly. We're gonna... We, there are so many babies in this LP. I swear it's like the Barbie 100 baby challenge. I know I've said that before, but... Oh my goodness. And let's make her... Mercedes. She could be insane. She could be an insider. She could be mean, a slob, self assured, music lover, perfectionist, bookworm, lazy. I don't know. I think we should make her. Oh, I'd love to do evil. No, we won't do that. Let's make her something that we haven't done before. Just to be different. Let's make her insane. She's a bit of a crazy kid. Aww. Hey, Mercedes. How are ya? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I feel like she's quite a character. Like, I don't know. I think she is crazy. Maybe she deals with a lot of ADD. Uh, maybe. I don't know. So she's, like, really full on. I've had a few, Welcome I've got a few friends with ADD. Yeah, they're awesome. Like, no. But no. sometimes, <laughs> there are times when they just get so over the top excited. And it's really, really cute. But I feel like she would have it maybe more severely. Yeah. And she's just like crazy and out there. Not because of ADD, but just because she is. Anyway, I feel like I'm going to offend viewers now. And she looks really angry too. All right. Well, you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below of who Mercedes is and what you think of her and how do you think she acts and what Diamond also thinks of her because I think Diamond was probably expecting a perfect child as perfect as she was growing up, but that's not necessarily the case. All righty. Back at the Barbie dream house, Amethyst is in her new like op shop vest get up she's such she's got her own unique style going on uh, she just marches to the beat of her own drum but i think what we'll do is actually get her to be invited by akash to go away camping he's probably like this girl's kind of cute i guess it's okay now she's aged up to take her out on a date and yeah i think this is gonna be really cute take a vacation or travel travis no take a vacation Take a vacation is what we want to do. There we go. And we're not bringing the family. We are bringing Akash and that is it. It's a pretty big deal because Barbie's letting her little girl go away with a boy yeah, and so is know. Ken. But let's be honest, Barbie is in charge in this family. Oh Shush no, Ray. double buttons. I have an issue with that. But at least they line up, so it's, it's okay. It's okay. Yay, where should we go? Granite Falls. <laughs> and oh, we could go to this campground. This is where Simley made it. It's like a Barbie treehouse campground, which I was, thought was pretty cool. Uh, or oh, maybe not the Elements of Thrones. <laughs> I reckon we go to, oh, there's the Swamp Hideaway. We could go to that build I did. Maybe that's like Akasha's family home. Or family getaway. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go here. Holy moly! It's expensive. Well, we're only going to go for one day. <laughs> I mean, it's not like Barbie or the Barbie family really struggle that much with money, though. Let's be honest, because Margie's inheritance keeps pouring in. Whenever they are in need of money, they can somehow magically get it. Wouldn't that be awesome if that was real life? And when you were going broke and that bank account was looking a bit empty, you could be like, Margie! Yay! Hi! Oh my gosh, get out of this outfit. Change outfit. <laughs> Let's get into something a little bit more appropriate for where you are. Uh, do we have anything appropriate? This is probably <laughs> the most appropriate. 
Hey, dude. Send home. Bro pump, because they're good friends. Zarps. I feel like they should have a love interest on them. And yeah, I cheated her. Isabel, are you seriously copying our vest? That's so typical. Of course, everyone would copy us. Let's be friends with her. Let's shout to her. And uh, let's see. Heart felt compliments. And to do maybe a little bit of a pickup line. Being a little bit flirty, you know, get in that flirty. <laughs> she's like, she's it's kind of shy too. Rib. She's probably yeah. calling her friend being like, hey, I'm away what with a guy I met like, at my brother's party. He was really cool and he invited me to his family Wooly camp China. house, holiday house in the swamp. That's awesome. Rugi I'll speak to you soon. All right, Akash, let's see what your family owns. So this is a swamp speed build I did uh, last week, I think, or the week before. It's pretty, pretty badass. I'll try and rem remember to link this in the description down below. But yeah, I liked it. I liked making it because it has this irregular roof shape and it looks like it's just been added onto, added onto, added onto. And there's just stuff everywhere inside so this is really not what amethyst is used to but a lot of you guys were saying you could see her owning a vintage store or something like that so i think she'd be like oh my gosh all of this cool stuff this cool old stuff would be so different to what she's used to at home so there is stuff everywhere but there's guitars you know she can sing along for a kush and uh then one bed upstairs I feel like Akash would have told her, told her, what? Good English, Deli. Would have told Ken that, nah, there's two bedrooms. <laughs> hey, Kim Kardashian, I heard you became friends with Akash Duggan. He's pretty cool. Yeah, we kind of a Duggan him right now. Let's get her to, okay, is, do they have a love interest yet? Not yet. Hello, friends, I'm Maya. Cool, Maya, we're not interested in you right now. We're interested in Akash. Uh, mm, I reckon, of course, dark, Akash, oh if we were blooded. able to play him as uh -huh, the same uh -huh. household, he would be making all the moves. But They're for the sake things. of getting them closer, we're going to have to get uh, uh, Amethyst to. <laughs> She's so purple. I think oh. the eyeshadow was a bit much on the makeover. Oh, oh look! Oh, they so like so each so other! Oh, she is swooning. <gasps> first kiss. Let's flirt a little bit more. We don't want to ruin this. Their first kiss has to be so special. Embrace. He's so into her. He's perfect for her. I love that he's so different to her family. He's got his own thing going on. Look at his outfit. He's awesome. All right, now that we've got their flirt up a little bit, before we go straight in for the kill of a first kiss, I reckon we'll get Akash to light a fire. Damn it, we can't because we can't control him. <laughs> but we'll light a fire. And then I think we might just strum for fun. See me can do that with a flirty, uh, with a flirty thing going on. Oh, really? You can't play that? Can you play this one? Is this one a quick one? No, the other one. And this venue's on the gallery available for download if you want. This drumming's really awkward, Amethyst. It doesn't sound very good. Is this letting off a flirty vibe? Oh, look at him. He's so proud of her. He's like, I'm so into this girl. I had to walk. I walked through her. That's how close he wanted to beat it to her. He walked straight through her. <laughs> That's weird. That's weird, Deli. Alright, let's uh, maybe... Oh, this strumming's getting somewhere. This, <laughs> this is a bit better. Oh yeah, Kasha's is feeling it. What a cute first date. Love these two. Uh, how is her skill going, actually? Skill. Oh. Guitar's four. I thought she was higher than that. We definitely need to play for longer. 
All right, well, I'm gonna leave this part right here, you guys. We will resume in the next part. Let me know where you want their first kiss to be and what you want them to get up to. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. And yeah, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will speak to you soon.